pull up in the rain. Man, that would've hit for. Said she heartbreaking, charge to the game. Superstar focus, pull up in the range. Tell us all over, I'ma be the same. Betty, bend it over when she see the change. Baby, we been ballin' like we in the air. Like these niggas wildin' out on that day. Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another video. Finally, a business video. Business videos are back. Business videos are back, like I promised. My hair is looking a little crazy. I have to put in a ponytail. Don't mind it. So if you are new here or if you forgot, I talk very fast. So if you're not comfortable with that, you may want to click onto another video. And I'll be looking down to look at my phone because if you remember, my mind be all over the place so notes help me like keep my thoughts together and so that's what i'll be looking at so today's video is about finding a vendor i always get questions about how i found my vendors how i'll give you like a little backstory and all the how from my vendors how to find vendors how to know if vendors trustworthy all these different 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 questions so these vendors that i'm going to be giving you guys are vendors that do not require a resale license or like a resale certificate like these are just vendors that are this is perfect for beginners perfect for beginners because any of y'all anybody can use these vendors these wholesalers whatever you want to call it anyone can use it so as far as like the ones that require like a wholesale license and a resale license all that stuff i could talk about that in another video but this is this video specifically for the beginners the beginners that will be better some of them are ba based in the u.s some of them are based in china i'll be kind of going through them and all that kind of stuff so yeah so let's get straight into the video okay so i'm first going to talk about clothing vendors and then we'll get into like hair makeup all the other stuff i'm gonna just talk about cl the clothing vendors that are in the well that are not in china that's how i say first that are not in china the ones that you probably don't know about because you probably have an idea of the ones that are in china so i'm gonna talk about the ones that are in china so i don't even know how to pronounce them but i'm gonna put them on the screen i'll put them somewhere over here Parisian, Parisian. Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, excuse me, because I don't know how to pronounce it. But they're UK based. Their shipping starts at $25 to the US, and they show you what they offer. Like they have no minimum, and if you know, like a lot of um, a lot of wholesale, a lot of vendors may have like a minimum, a minimum. Like you must order more than 25 pieces. You must order whether it's like if they sell lashes, must order more than 50 lashes. If they you want to buy tubes from them, you gotta order more than 50 tubes. This specific um this specific U, um, uk brand they don't have a minimum so that's perfect and this is um, this is, like i said the thing i'm talking about are clothing so you can look at the stuff and you can just register on their site if you want to see the prices but even if you don't want to register yet you can just look through their site and go to their wholesale option and i will have their, li their link down below you can go to their wholesale option and you can see the pictures of the different items that they offer for like the different clothing pieces like jumpsuits shirts whatever pants jeans whatever that they offer for wholesale and then when you register like make it a physical account then they will show you like the prices so parisian or per however you pronounce it they are one one um you know brand you can use another one is apparel candy apparel candy okay apparel candy is also i believe are they in the u.s if i'm not mistaken apparel candy is in the u.s like i said please don't quote me i'm just kind of giving you guys you know some things on this i'm gonna mention this always like i said i always recommend everybody always doing the research for themselves this is just kind of just helping you guys just giving you guys some ideas that you guys can some ideas some things but always never just go for one person's word always do your research always so that's i just want to just put that out there but as far as apparel candy they are a wholesaler they have no minimums and they have 2,000 verified reviews on their um on their what do you call it on their website and i suggest you know looking at youtube looking at google reviews all that kind of stuff they said free, they have free shipping on all u.s orders that are over 300 dollars and I feel like that's pretty good. So they also offer quad pay. I don't know if they offer quad pay. Yes, they offer quad pay even for the wholesale stuff that they're selling. So this is just a wholesale website, apparel candy. So I suggest you go check it out if you are interested in like selling clothes and all that stuff. So yes, apparel candy is one. Another one is a Boulevard Apparel, which they are located in California. They are another wholesale um wholesale clothing brand and then there's another one wholesale7.net like i said all the ones i'm mentioning i will link down below and you can just kind of and i know other better ones but those ones you must have like a wholesale license you must like 
like you know the certificates you must have all the legal stuff so like this is more better for beginners so this is why I'm mentioning these people first so like I said Parisian, how you pronounce it, apparel candy, Boulevard Apparel, and Wholesale7.net. Some people have asked me about, um, what is that place called, Lovely Wholesale. I'm not too sure about them as of yet. If you want to do your research and find out more about them, you can. They have reached out to me, so maybe if I, like, but like I said, I didn't automatically accept um, to work with them. Because I want to do more research and find out what more, what more they're about, like the quality of their clothes, all that stuff. And they are also, but Lo um, Lovely Wholesale is based in China. So now that we're off of like the clothing like that are not based in the US, they, that are based in like the US and not based in China, now we can get into what everybody knows of is Alibaba. So as far as, far as Alibaba, of course there are some like manufacturers there. You have to kind of do like, I, maybe I'll do a video on the ins and outs of Alibaba like because there's ways to know like who's a verified seller, who is like, there is, you know what I'm saying, there's more to just buying from anybody like, I wouldn't do that I wouldn't just buy from anybody but even with all these things as far as Alibaba specifically you will have to take time to find those four or five you know four or five you know vendors that you like and you will have to what I recommend is you will have to test from each each of them like I'm saying ask how much they charge for samples is how much you know sample pieces they usually have a cheaper price for sample pieces and you have to test test in test where compare all that stuff I don't recommend just buying from anybody because some people will get scammed on Alibaba that's why I said it's a trusting process I would not recommend I would recommend either paying through Alibaba or PayPal I wouldn't do any other way I wouldn't do what is that thing that everybody used to do when they send money to China what is it called um I just wouldn't do any other way but PayPal or using Alibaba like you know paying through Alibaba directly. I wouldn't use any 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 other way because you can easily get scammed. You can easily get like I said. I always work with vendors that I can FaceTime. I can video like not FaceTime, or video chat. I can talk to them on WhatsApp. I can ask for pictures and more pictures and you know what I'm saying like I can really communicate and talk to y'all and like really see. Oh, can I see where you know where all the stuff are stored? Can I see? I ask all those deep in all those deep questions so Alibaba is obviously one that has a whole bunch of stuff like I said I have some um, vendors from Alibaba I have some vendors that I have just found that have reached out to me like that so I will I'm gonna talk more about that in the video but let's stick, stick to first Alibaba so like I said maybe I'll do a more if you guys are interested in that let me know down below I will do a more like detailed video on like like how to you know kind of find who are the good ones and who are the bad ones and you know what I'm saying what like what's the word I should look, I'm looking for like what red flags you know what I'm saying that you should know okay eliminate them they're not it like I will go through all of that and like how to negotiate and all that stuff maybe I'll do that in another video but this is just like this is just me just giving out some ideas of you know vendors and wholesales that you guys can use to start your business but you still have to do your own research so Yes, Alibaba is one. When I first started like selling lashes, I started on first on AliExpress and then I was like, no. And then I started on Alibaba and that's what I did. I tested out different vendors, which ones I liked, which ones I didn't like. I didn't like some lashes, I didn't like this. And then as far as all the, even all the other stuff that I started doing, same thing. But like, so all my vendors are not, I did not find them all on Alibaba, which is like I said, which is another way you can find vendors is there's vendors on Instagram. You can find, ha use hashtags, especially when you have a business, a lot of them will reach out to you. Like if they see, like, like on my business page, I use hashtags. So a lot of them reach out to me. A lot of them email me, they email me, they DM me. A lot of them write me on WhatsApp. So a lot of them have found me through YouTube. So I have had some vendors where they've reached out to me and I'll be like, okay, let me take advantage of this. Let me see, you know, what kind of like discount I can get. Like, cause you're reaching out to me. I didn't reach out to you, you reached out to me. So of course I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity and like see if I, they're not gonna offer no major crazy discount, but like, oh, sometimes 10 cents, 50 cents can go far something being 250 each you know 250 per you know per for one thing and then going down from 250 to two dollars for each that makes a big difference when you're buying like I said and I buy bulks so I buy big boxes be coming to my house so you know what I'm saying so there is many different ways to find vendors and wholesalers and all that stuff and manufacturers all that stuff but there's a difference which I'll look at I'll get more into that in another video where I'll get more into like the details and the ins and out but this is just more just a 
video to kind of just help the people who are always asking me where how can I find them what websites what this what that so like I said, there's Alibaba, there's all those other places that I've mentioned. These are all ones that are good without you having a whole, you know, it's like a resale certificate or a resale license. They don't, these websites don't require that. They're free, like free to, you know, use. And yeah, like I said, you can find vendors on Instagram. You can find vendors on Google. I feel like my main thing I would say is research, 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 research. Like it is not a problem to buy a vendor list from somebody else. That's it's not a problem. But even if I was to buy a vendor list from somebody, I would still like, OK, I know this person uses this vendor. Great. Cool. But I'm still going to tell you know, what I'm even if I do buy it from them, like, oh, your vendor, whatever. They sell it to me for fifty dollars, thirty five dollars, whatever. Cool. Whatever. Because, you know, they did their research. They use them, whatever. They they're allowed to. People can do whatever they want. But even if I buy my, the vendor from somebody else, I'm still going to vet the person myself and still test it out and still ask for samples and all this stuff. I'm not never just take anybody's word. You know what I'm saying still always do your own research. So, you know, in the back of your mind that you did what you needed to do for your business. You know what I'm saying you can't blame anybody else blame yourself so yeah so those are just some simple like just things where you can find some vendors like i said everything will be linked down below and like i said ben's videos are back i have more vi you know more videos coming up and all that good stuff but yeah i hope that helps like for the beginners a lot of people have messaged me asking me if you're interested in buying my vendors you can i have no problem i sell them for a way cheaper price now so if you're interested in buying my vendors let me know like i said regardless i still recommend testing doing your own research all that stuff but if you're interested you don't want to go through testing multiple like you know what i'm saying like i said testing multiple vendors and buying from each of them if you don't want to go through that process it's fine everybody everybody you know is different you can't you have no problem sliding my dm email me sliding my dm is much easier i'm gonna try to stay on top of my dms but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this helped and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys and then after this we're gonna tone